Hi there, so let's go through my last seven days. Um, nutrition wise for me has been pretty good. Uh, I have probably had two treat days uh, and five pretty good days. Uh, my breakfast consists of kind of high protein levels, big, big solid breakfast, scrambled eggs, um, avocados, bit of meat, some of that for breakfast. My lunch has consisted of a salad normally with some form of protein. Uh, a couple of coffees and my evening meals have been quite varied uh, for the simple fact that I, uh, I work quite a few late evenings so therefore I don't get back till nine o'clock at night. So I tend to graze all the way through uh, the late sort of afternoon, early evening rather than having a big meal when I get home at night. Um, off the back of that, I've also trained five times this week. Um, my training has been pretty hard. Uh, I must admit, it's, it's uh, left me with some severe DOMS for, for at least 48 hours. So um, just like the rest of my customers, we all feel the pain. Um, but some of us get on with it. So, uh, okay, and off the back of that, let's look um, very briefly at our body composition history. So when I first started this blog, my weight was 89.9. When I weighed myself yesterday, uh, it's now gone up to 90.5. So I'm up essentially by 0.6 of a kilo. My skeletal muscle mass has gone from 43.2 kilos to 43.7 kilos. So that's up by half a pound. Um, so should I say half a kilo, so 1.1 pound. And my percentage of body fat has gone from 16.7% down to 16.3%. So let's just quickly address this one, uh, which I think is a really valid point. Um, when you set yourself goals and targets, you generally set yourself something that uh, you will monitor week after week. That's something that we don't necessarily promote here at Field of Fitness. Uh, and we certainly don't promote a weight loss week after week after week after week. Um, what's the most important factor is your body composition, okay? So what your total body weight is weighed up from or made up from. That is muscle and that is fat. They're the two main components you want to look at. There's nothing worse than getting onto those set of scales and going, I don't believe it, I've tried really hard this week and I've put on a kilo. Guess what? I've put on half a kilo. If I wasn't in the industry, I'd probably be really pissed off and I'd probably quit my journey straight away. Having said that, when I look at the breakdown of what my body weight is made up on, that weight that I've put on has been muscle. It has not been fat. So therefore, my weight has gone up because we all know that muscle will weigh more than fat. Uh, my percentage of body fat has gone down. So actually, generally, I'm in better shape now, seven days later, than what I was seven days ago. So what I'm trying to get my point across here is simply I haven't been extreme with my diet, I haven't been extreme with my training, I've trained four to five times a week, I've eaten pretty well, um, and yet I'm getting the results that I want. Now I've got some people out there and customers that I've been training over 15 years that say I just can't lose weight. I don't believe that. I strongly believe that anyone, if they set their mind to it, can lose weight. But again, it's going into that body composition. Um, now obviously we wouldn't recommend that you did your body fat every single week, that's not something we would do, uh, but for the purposes of this four week challenge, I felt it appropriate that we, I would do my body fat every week so you can sort of visualize my, my pattern over the next four weeks. Um, next week is going to be exactly the same, I'm just going to be consistent with it. Uh, I've taken photographs of my food so you can go onto any form of social media uh, and look at Field of Fitness and see my, my meal plans, uh, you can see my training, I'm following the Field of Fitness training program. Uh, which consists of one compound movement per day, whether that be bench press, a chin up, a squat, a deadlift, um, and then I've got some accessory work on top of that, along with a little bit of high intensity cardio at the end. Um, so without going extreme, I've managed to um, move in the right direction, uh, and let's see where we are in the next seven days. Any questions? Don't hesitate to give me a shout.